Fossil comes in for Fort Collins, wanting to get a leg up in the conference with a tough lineup featuring four-year letter winner, third baseman Jaden Mercado, a future UNC Bear. The hosts are the Eagles. They've been playing well and featuring D1 prospects of their own, Hadley Reichert at shortstop and center fielder Brenna Kapelke. It's a warm and windy day here in the Northwest Metro for this very important in-conference contest. And there's Fossil sophomore starter Nikki McGaffin. And she gets Elizabeth Thorngren swinging and stranding a runner at second base. And it's still scoreless after two. To the home half of the third, still scoreless. And the Eagles have a runner at second for Reichert, who gets the ball to drop in right. Sydney Reichert scores, and the Eagles are on the board. It's one to nothing. Let's go to the fifth inning. Sabercats have scored twice now. Fossil up 2-1, and McKenna James flies to center. Elizabeth Browning tags and scores, adding to the Sabercats' lead. Let's go to the bottom of the fifth. Eagles have cut their deficit to 5-2, and here's Kaylee Morales who grounds it just past short for the hit. Linnea Baldner scores all the way from first. That cuts their deficit even more. And then it's Chloe Egerin with the timely hit as she strokes the ball down the right field line. Two more runs score, and it's all tied up 5-5. Five to five. Let's go to the seventh, tied at five, and it's Hadley Riker being a true clutch hitter as she blasts the first pitch over the center field wall for the walk-off home run. And Broomfield comes back for the thrilling 6-5 to five win over front range rival Fossil Ridge. I mean, it's pretty huge because this league is probably one of the best in Colorado, I'd say. And it's just a great win because we haven't been hitting the best against some other teams up to this game and then we just showed that we can win against anyone. 